Hi and welcome to Tonya Creates. My name is Tonya Edex. In today's video, I'm going to show you a font identification service that I use online. Let's dive in. So this is the website. It's called um, myfonts.com slash what the font. What the font is an identifier or a font identifier that is that I normally use to identify fonts that I've either come across in a design online or uh, I might have seen it in a publication or a flyer, whatever, whatever uh, form I see it. What I normally do is that I take a picture of the font or I download the image from the website or from a website and I upload it here. Let me show you how I do that. All right. So once I, I come to this website, you'll see the link. Um, the link will be put in the description below. I come to the website, I click either I click here or I drag and uh, upload the image. So I click here and I let me pick the first image that we're going to try out. So once I have this image and make sure that your image is sharp enough so that um, it can easily identify it. So what I do is that once I click and if this is not uh, button up well, I could extend it to button up or I could just choose a single letter to identify. But in this case, I want to identify everything. It gives me uh, more options. So it gives the, the program more options to identify the fonts correctly. So what I do, I click next and I wait for it to do its thing. So once that happens, you now see it gives you a series of fonts that are similar to the image you have uploaded. In this case, I would want to go with um, the first one, which is Edlon Serial Serial Light. And sometimes what I would do is that I would just scroll through and see other fonts that would be familiar. And there are times I have actually um, gone with other fonts, you know, I've gone with other fonts. But in this case, let me just pick this. So once I click that, it takes me to the page. So a, a lot of times I would have had this font already purchased or somewhere on my system. So I would just make sure I take note of the name, go to my font uh, folder and look for the font. Then other times what I would do is that I would come here and type in maybe the title or heading or just something that is different from the font name. So say I want to call this trade wins. Say this is the title of a book, trade wins. And it changes the font i increase the font size if i'm satisfied i either purchase or i look for the name and i'm done at times you may not see the font you are trying to identify so you could go to click uh, consult an expert from the community and once that is done and uh, once that is done what happens is that it takes you to a page where you can put in the name and send you know your request but first of all what you need to do is that you need to be signed in if you are not signed in or if not registered you register on the, uh, my fonts website which is actually free so let me sign in to my um, account so I come back here and I click consult an expert from the community so what I do is that I now put in the title of the case I could call it whatever name I could just say village village font if I want I could put in a message and what have you I would click notify me by email when there is an activity on this case and it's as easy as that I click on create and what it does it takes it into the forum and someone for the most part someone always identifies so let me show you uh, the forum where I have made some requests. So when I click here, this is a font I recently had identified or these two fonts I recently asked in the forum this two days ago, this three days ago. So this actually gave me the font name while there is yet to be a response on this. So um, basically that's, that's um, a resource that I use that helps me in font identification i hope this video was helpful in some way don't forget to share like and subscribe because every week i bring you new videos all right do take care and enjoy